Today we're going to add using our nipple while teaching. And in order to do that, we need to review our place value. We're going to look down in the first column, we know we have our ones, and above the separation bar, we have fives. The next column are the tens, and above it are the fifties. In the third column, each one is worth a hundred, and in the upper half, each is worth five hundred. Knowing that and keeping that in mind, we can begin to add. We'll begin with five plus four. We first show five, and we're going to add four. So we need four from the bottom ones. One, two, three, four. So five plus four reflects nine. And now we're going to add two digits, 12, plus six. We know in the 12 we need one ten and two ones. So I have one in the tens column, two in the ones column. Twelve. I'm going to add six. In the six I need a five and one. So twelve plus six gives me ten, fifteen, 16, 17, 18. And now we're going to add with three digits. We are going to add 303 plus seven. So in the hundreds column, I know I need three hundreds. I do not need any tens, none in the tens column. And I need three ones. 303. I'm going to add 7. I know within my 7 I can add 5, 5, and I need 2 more, but I don't have 2 more. So instead I can take a second 5. I only need 2. So I'm going to return three. One, two, three. So here above I have two units of five and that brings me to my first conversion. I have three hundred and two fives which is three hundred and ten. I know I can take those two fives and convert them to reflect one ten. So two units of five can be exchanged for one ten. I have three hundred and ten. Three hundred and three plus seven is three hundred and ten. I'll clear my board. And it's time just now to review our conversions. We know that two units of five can be converted into one ten. Just like two units of fifty can be converted to a hundred and successively up the board. Now we can begin some addition problems that require conversions. I'll start with nine plus six. I need a five and four ones to reflect nine. Now I'm going to add six. So I don't have six ones that I can add. Instead, I'll take a 10, but I only need six. So what I'll do is return four ones. Nine plus six now gives me one ten and one five equaling fifteen. And we'll work with two digits. I'd like to add twenty seven plus eighteen. So I will reflect two in my tens column for twenty, and seven in the ones column. I have five, six, seven, twenty-seven, to which I'm going to add eighteen. I know the number eighteen has one in the tens column. So I'm going to add one ten, 
and now I need eight in the ones column, but I don't have eight ones that I can add. Instead, I'm going to add a 10. I only need eight, so I'll take that 10 and return two that I do not need. So now I have 10, 20, 30, 40, 5. 27 plus 18 equals 45.